Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create some uh, quite interesting uh, text effects using brushes. So it's going to involve using uh, an image in the background and it's going to involve using a plain black background, some text and some pre-made uh, brushes. So I'm going to introduce you to a few things uh, as we go as well. Uh, so we have uh, an image here by the artist Ileason and uh, this is called The Weather Project. So this is one of the exhibitions that uh, was at the, the Tate Modern Gallery. Uh, so that's our, back, uh, our background, but actually underneath this background, I'm gonna unlock this layer and place uh, a new layer, and this new layer is going to be uh, black. So I'm gonna go to Edit and Fill, and fill it with black, and that will become apparent uh, later as you go. Then using your, your type tool, it's add some text of your choice. So I'm adding the words here, Tate's Gallery. And we're going to begin by working uh, around selecting this text. And then we're going to move into using paintbrushes to add some more effects to what we're doing. So we go to Select and Color Range. You can select via the highlights, midtones, or shadows. So you can select all the highlights in your text. Now there is another way of doing this. So if we deselect that, if you hold down command on the keyboard and click on the, the T here, it will make your selection automatically. Uh, we're then going to move to our, uh, our image layer here. And we're going to pop our image layer on top. And then very simply, we're going to click layer mask. And it's going to clip away all that background. So it's just going to use, uh, it's just going to leave us with our, our text visible. So we have our, our text there and we have our image. So we can hold down shift on the keyboard and click on the uh, layer mask layer and you'll see that the picture is, is still there. So it's, uh, it's still there for editing if we need to. All right, so now we're going to work with um, some brushes to have some creative effect here. So we can make our own brushes. So if we select our, our paintbrush, uh, there's obviously a, a huge selection of different brushes here, but we want to use uh, certain brushes in particular. Uh, now in order to create your own brushes, if you uh, find yourself uh, an ink vector or paintbrush uh, vector, uh, so vector being um, black and white in this case, uh, you'll be able to create your own brushes from this. You can of course make your own, so you can actually make them by hand and scan them or photograph them and bring them into Photoshop that way. Uh, so very kind of creative things you can do with it. So we're going to make a selection. So to make a selection we go to select, color range, and this time we're going to select our shadows, hit OK. Then we go to edit and we go to define brush preset. You can then give it a name and I've already got this one saved so I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, so you give it a name and once you've saved it you'll find that it is at the bottom of your, your brushes. Okay so it's, it's at the bottom there for you to, to work with. So I'm going to come back to my image now and come back to this and use the paintbrush as a way of working. Now we obviously that's much too big so you can drop down the size here. So make it a bit smaller. You have the square brackets on the keyboard as well, which we can use, which is much, much quicker. Uh, but then there's some other things you can change before we sort of go any further. So we load, load, load up our brushes palettes. So window and go to brush. We can work through these. So shape, shape dynamics. We can change the size jitter. So it will randomize the size as you work. And you can change the angle jitter. So it will vary the angle as you're painting. So same with roundness. Okay, so and then moving down to, to scattering, and it will scatter as you work, so as you paint. There's various other things you can try, but I'm gonna keep it simple, keep it, keep it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna come back to my image, and we're going to click and remove areas from our piece. Now that's clearly taken quite a lot of the T off there, so I'm just gonna undo that and kind of move out, change the brush size and work in. So there's a bit of sort of artistic uh, license required here as you're working. So that might like look quite good underneath the eye. Um, and you know, just kind of work your way around and, and remove certain parts of your picture. You can change the opacity of a brush so it makes it more or less see-through. And of course, you can change your uh, the type of brush you're using as well. So you can uh, use uh, different size brushes. Uh, so this is quite a nice, nice one. Yeah, so you can kind of just work your way around uh, try, you know, for different creative effects. Now, for this particular brush, you would need to go, as soon as you change your brush, you would need to go back into your uh, your brush palette 
and add some effects to this as well. Okay, so you can, might want to come come through and uh, make some further further changes. Uh, so keep working through it, keep working on it. Uh, because you're using a layer mask, if you switch your black and white swatch around, you can remove parts of the, the areas you've painted. So again, you can get some further uh, depth and layering to your technique. All right, so keep kind of working with it until you get the, the effects that you're happy with. Um, so there you go, it's a nice simple effect. Um, so it's a good starting point for you. And I hope it gives you some uh, inspiration. Thank you.